Hello everyone, I'm Son of Beast, and I'm Mephone, and this is NBA 2K22 on 2K Sports. Are you ready for another matchup? As we are ready to begin for the next part of the game of NBA 2K22. Me phone here, and along with Summit Beast, we're back for another part of this matchup of Season 6, and now we got this next matchup. We got a good strength here since they met in the finals of NBA 2K21, it's the Sixers versus the Phoenix Suns. As we all have mentioned before, the team right there, the Sixers have won the finals on 2K21, but for real was Milwaukee that turned out to be a best score in the game since they have already won their second title of the NBA Finals. Last time it was for one year, just one, many years ago, but now they bought it back here for last year of the season. So it's time to bring things in, and without Ben Simmons, Seth Curry, and of course Andre Drummond, they're now on the Brooklyn Nets, right down there where they're at. There's Seth Curry over there and Andre Drummond on that side. Well, we have no reports here for Blake Griffin or any of our guys. And that is definitely correct. We have never seen anybody who is taking it from here, but it might be very hard to try to fix things up a bit. If there's any changes to that, we will have to find out what will happen. And now, let's present your starting lineups for your current teams. Starting off with the Sixers, we have this James Harden. Tyrese Maxey, Danny Green, Tobias Harris, and Joel the Process of MB. Yeah, everybody has already called him the Process. He's my guy. That's my favorite for him. And for the Phoenix Suns, we have Devin Booker, McCall Bridges, Cameron Johnson, Jay Crowder, and DeAndre Ayton. Unfortunately, Chris Paul is out with the injury list. So, we did not bring him with Chris Paul, and a lot of huge disappointments here for Phoenix Suns for the game. Yeah, of course, Chris Paul would have been able to be playing back on the court, but right now he's not here, and he's on the injury list. We're not sure what, if he's going to come back and play him for the, uh, for the end of the regular season. We know it's coming down to the wire, but we are trying to figure out if there's a chance for Chris Paul to get back in the game and do it again. Well, we'll find out next time if there's a next new season going on for another team for Phoenix Suns. And now, let's go ahead and prepare you at this new stadium that changes into another one. Instead of a Talking Stick Resort Arena, we have changed this one into a, into a different arena. Last time it was the Paycom Center, but I think this might be turning out to be the, something a little bit more different at that point. Suns Arena, what does that change into? Well, let's get going here at Phoenix, Arizona. The Valley is back. We are here, and this is the Footprint Center that changes into another one. And this is the best place that turned out to be the finishing part of it all. And James Harden is here for the first time with the Sixers. And they are bringing things ready to bring it on. And here are the schedules. Phoenix Suns, they will be playing on Trail Blazers on Wednesday. Then the Knicks. And it will be playing at Bucks since they met in the All-Star in the all game preseason of the last season of the finals. Let's go to David. The Suns finally broke a decade long playoff drought. Devin Booker says it's been a long time coming. Basketball and life relate to each other, and that's how I grew up. It's through basketball. I kept my head down, kept working, and it finally paid off. Kevin, is that deep enough for you? Of course it is, it will be deep enough for him. Thank you so much, and for Devin Booker. So the starting lineups are currently on the board. We have is James Harden and Devin Booker, your key matchup in the point guarding position. And we have is Joel Embiid against DeAndre Ayton, the center guards. Tobias Harris against Jay Crowder. And Cameron Johnson against the other player, but we talked about it before. 
and noticing how well he has been playing for his last time, that turned out to be one of the best players here, Tyrese Maxey. And for rubber two, Danny Green, and with McCall Bridges, there's a lot of them that has to be done. And as we're ready to get things on, it starts now. Sixers win the tip-off, they're all fueled up, and we're ready to go in Phoenix. The last meeting of NBA Finals. Tyrese Maxey, what a great drive here. This turned out to be a well stocked performance on his run. Booker on Harden. Harden has never played here with the Sixers before. Last time he was played with the Brooklyn Nets. But let's see how well he can do from his play at the Sixers. Oh, wow. What a great block for the process of MB. Look at that. That's a great shot block. And that was your mobile one block. Defensive play of the game. And turning out to be just like that, Joel Embiid really got a good strength out there. After coming up with the loss of Team Joel, and for this part, he was going to have to like win it all, but he never got a chance to try to fix things up a bit. Oh, Aiden slams it down, and that turns out to be a time game matchup. Man, you got to like be kidding me. That's like a best step in footer, Ben Bound. Maxi rolls up to Green. Green back to Harden. Harden steps on back. And it's rebounded by Johnson as no good shot turned out to be Harden. Johnson will go right into the carry. Bridge for three. Knocks it in there. Now that's a two pointer. It has to be a two pointer because he's right on a three point line. After with the uh, ruling of this changing result, turned to be a review of the play of a two-pointer. Oh, Aiden rejects the pass off with the reverse layup drive. Oh man, you gotta like know that better. That's what you call him. You can't stop him now. Maxi going around the other way. Here's Embiid. He never tries it before, but he would like to put things up again. He decides to help Danny Green with the screen. With a drive, step in, Embiid's got it. That would be his first bucket of the night. Embiid, he really got a good pick of a screen. He really has to, like, go for a number one. Booker on Harden, with four minutes to go. Booker slams it, dunk! And it goes right in with a defensive breakdown. A lot of breakdown coming in. It might be a lot crucial if we need it. Maxi right to Harris. Three pointer for Green. That carries off the way. That Bridges rebounds. The 340 remain by. Bridges finds Aiden. And a nice solid D here as they will put things back to give it another try. Aiden finds him. Good drive by Aiden and a great pass by Bridges. They're up by four. Harden going back the other way. This is off to Green. Green inside. Rebounded up by Aiden. That's another hard defensive, great solid rebound. And a defensive on this breakdown, it turned out to be just more that he had. He has been going in and out. They wanted to get back into offense. They got to try to step it forward. Booker, alley -oop. It's successful. That's a great pass to Aiden. That will be Booker's first assist by the Suns. Maxi, no problem here. That turns out to be a smooth drive. That will be his first bucket drive. Not so close to that call. That was a little bit of all in between inwards and outwards. Booker on Harden. Screen on Johnson. Rejects away. Booker. And bad pass. That turns out to be a first turnover on the Suns. Harden. Switches it off, moves across, Harris for three, and it's tipped out way, that rebounded by Bridges. Number three point miss, you can't let that happen. You don't want to give up on your shot. Johnson on green, back to Booker. With two minutes to go in the first period, they gotta try to figure it out. Bridges outside, Maxi covered. Will he have it? And the answer's no. That turned out to be off. Another rebound by the Sixers. 
Embiid rolls off to Harris. Back to Embiid. And count it! That will be the bucket and one. Booker with his first foul on Phoenix. What a great communication here for Tobias Harris. He turned out to be just like that. And what a good response here for Joel Embiid to get back in the line. Three players will be checking in. It will be Korkmaz, then Feibel, and then it will be George Nyang. One shot for Embiid as they're trying to catch up by one. If he makes one in or not. And a shot goes in for Embiid and they're up by trailing by one. A little close in between the matches, just like game six. Bayambo right on the end. Craig, right to McGee. And going in, driving. Oh, it's Feibel with the rejection for Embiid. This is a tough, strange call. I don't know what to say about that. I don't know if it was Joel Embiid or if it was Feibel. This is definitely a tough call. Harden driving in, rejected by McGee. That will be a first block for McGee, as it turns out to be another turnover on Philadelphia. Nice communication out there. What a great help on defense. McGee's on a roll today. He's looking for another one. Can't find anybody. And B, another rejection. And a little bad of communication out there. In between outwards, turn over again. Yeah, Harden. Deep three. Doesn't hit that time. That misses off the wide off angle. Holiday will take it over from here. Justin Holiday. Sham it for three. And count it. That's a three bucket ball for Phoenix Suns. And last time he was traded off to the Brooklyn Nets. And he wasn't able to, con to confine anybody, so the NBA has the contract for Shamit to be back here for the Phoenix Suns. So they decided to change things up a bit, and now without a run for Ben Simmons and Seth Curry questionable, it could be hard to go on by. Oh, yay! And they will have to leave it off from here in the first quarter. 13-11. A little close call in the range, but we'll be right back with the second quarter after this one. Don't go anywhere, we got some more highlights for you coming up after this. I've been waiting on the career of basketball, night in and night out. Keep my head down, um, staying locked in and seeing tunnel vision, trying to play the right way through it all. Um, you know, I want to keep winning basketball games and you know we have the culture and the foundation around here to make it happen. And his winning streak, he has a lot of him to bring things out here again. We really wanted to see him how well he has played here before. After coming up with a loss, just a couple, just one game, or a couple games, if this turned out to be just hard, if they could try to bring things back in again, it's going to be very hard for the defender to get back into it, or the offense. And I agree with you on that one. Since no other players are trying to work on their way around, they need to try to keep things staying going again. What a great dunk here for Millsap as the aim with the assist. They really got to show things up at, at that point because they are Phoenix. They are really, really haven't won any final sits yet, but they really worked here on the playoffs. That's the only play they have just had before. And then when there is no one else around here, that's it. Then you're going to be off out of the angle. After with the uh, basket drive here for the Phoenix Suns, Millsap can't handle the throw. And Holiday will try to go back to the other way. Yang on him. Still on him. Picking up. Doesn't hit the throw. That will be a Yang. Go right to Feibel. Back to Harden. Sixers trail by two. Finds Feibel. Back to Harden. Yang for three. And doesn't hit that target out there. That misses the number three for the Sixers. No three on that contest. They were up there. They were showing up already. They can't handle that run. Payton on Feibel. Payton. Oh, he's getting around it. Shannon in the corner. Knocked it loose. Oh, McGee slams it down. 
one more time with the look. Wow. I can't believe that. McGee has it all there down. That's a great performance on the dunk. That was true. I always bet he was never going to slow it down. He really wants to keep it going. And that was your slam dunk presented by AT&T 5G. After with a miss here, here's Holiday, and they're up by four. Moving it further, and that will count the bucket in there. And now, the first timeout calls out by Philadelphia. 3.47 to go here for the first half. It's 19 to 13, and they will have to try to fix things up here on offense to go with another run. Expecting to see that one here. It was the best play all the way for one through game seven. I've always seen that play coming here before. Since so coming up here just a couple of the, of the last playoff matches here as for the Bucks and the Sixers, it was very hard to try to pick them up on the road. And without any question configuration, this was a very hard, uh, difficult situation. But they really wanted to pick things up. How would you feel if the Sixers would have won the finals at that point? Oh, I would have been really felt, really felt, uh, felt like an upset person out there. I, you know, I, I really don't even keep an eyes on NBA some stuff. You know, that's the that's the most important thing I really don't pay attention to. But that is just a little bit more harmful. I just pay respect to. Nobody has ever heard, and it might be very hard to keep an eye on. Now the new changes are keeping an eyes up here for the players. As Harris is checked in for Yin Yang, Green and Maxi are also checked in. All five players checked in and out. Without Chris Paul, let's see if they can try to fix things up a bit. Finds Fievel. Oh, Crowder. And that's a great D here on Crowder. That's another rebound. And what a great, great matchup here. That's a lot of good effort out there. They really do not want to get this place up yet. Here's Maxi. 3-10 to play here, and Harris will try to pick it up. Green with the screen. Finding open, and the foul is called on Crowder. That will be his first, first, second team foul on the Phoenix Suns. Stop the clock at 3.01, and they are going back right where they have. And expecting that Danny Green was really trying to pursue his run, his, his run cannot be allowed here once he has off the target on the angle. You want to make sure you have to keep an eye on that one. Because if the defender gets right on you, you're going to get a lot of trouble. Green hits the first free throw on the deck. Second free throw is good for Green. Keep it in the lane and it'll be his first bucket for this one. Here's Booker. Right on Maxi. Screen. We checked it off. Booker. No answers from Tyrese Maxi. That's another dunk here for the Phoenix Suns. Turning out to be in and out. What a play here for to Bevan Booker. He really can, didn't want to take it too risky that long. Green. Maxi. First three. And then miss again. That's another missing three buckets for the Sixers. Keeping an eye on here. Double man on Johnson. Five on him. Eight and on Maxi. Turns it up, and that's good. That's another bucket for the Phoenix Suns. Aiden gets the second one in his season. And the reach is called on Gray J. Crowder. Third team foul on Phoenix. Now Millsap will have to check out, and Embiid will have to check back in. 
Well, Embiid's never going to uh, get quitted at that point. He really wants to keep things going on. You don't want to, like, get rid of him. Two minutes to go here for the first half as Harris will take it from here before the half closes. Maxi and goaltended called by Booker and it will count the bucket. That was a very close one. Expecting that Tyrese Maxi just got it in there and Booker got to pop up too late. He is a little bit less shorter that he wants to keep this on a run. It's going to be a very tough one. Oh, man! Oh, my goodness! Did you see that play? I know! How in the world did DeAndre Ayton get back in there? Wow, what a great help. And beat for three. No shot for three-pointers, and they are on cold. And they're really in trouble right now. And this is why they can't be on 100%. They really got to get there. Booker on Maxi. Screen rejected. Aiden! Another slam dunk for the Suns! And the Phoenix is extending the lead. And Booker with the assist. They really got him active up here. They are pushing it. Pushing P. And we finally got an answer. That's a three-pointer for Tyrese Maxi. Fixing step. And they're up trailing by nine. 45 seconds to go here for the first half. Bridges on Booker. Maxi on Booker, I'm sorry. I just kept saying it wrong, but it will never happen again. Rejected by MB. That's three in a row. Five ball. Right to green. Goes to Maxi. 23 seconds. They really got to try to fix things up a bit for this one. Right, set up piece? Yeah, I think so. But the clock is winding down. They got to fix it. Five to shoot. They really got to pick it up. Maxi can't handle the shot. And Booker will have to close it from here for the first half. Booker. Buzzbeater. Oh, he made it. Just before the halftime was being raised. And no shot will take it from the Sixers. It's 32 to 20. Suns extending the ball on the lead. Without the finals win, we'll have to take it off from here. On a sideline with David Aldrich. Let's see what we have. Thanks, guys. Joined by Doc Rivers. Coach, what did you think of the effort in the first half? Well, the effort's fine, I guess. Uh, defensively, we got to be better, so that's part of the effort. But they just scored too easy. They're throwing us around. They are so much more than physical team right now, so we got to pick up our physicality. Sure, that will be discussed thoroughly before the next half. Thanks. Back to you guys. Thank you so much, GA. We'll be right back at the Footprint Center of the Valley of Phoenix. Your score is just extendable, but we'll be right back after this. Hey, y'all. I hope you enjoyed the first half. Let's have a recap look of the Suns and the Sixers. Stats for the first half of the game. And that will do it. Thanks for watching. Let's get you back in the game. Welcome back to the Footprint Center of Phoenix. And this time, we're about to start the third quarter. And checking, keeping you updated here is DeAndre Ayton that printed up an incredible performance in his run. With amazing help on the offense of Devin Booker, he really had it all with a catch. And and because of the uh, DeAndre Ayton was succeeding his run of his victory, he really got into a great, great opportunity here to start the first half. Oh, wow. That's four blocks on Joel Embiid. I can't believe it. And what, and excuse me, this is what everyone really turns out to be just like that. DeAndre Ayton... What can he do? Will he try to revenge off to Joel Embiid? Well, find out 
we'll see what happens here, guys. MV, shot free. Gets a hit that time as the defender turns right on it. Crowder finds Booker. It will now be another one for Booker to start off for the second half of the game. Booker on Maxi. Stepping in. Oh, we dunk it again! Let's do it again, Phoenix, as DeAndre Ian slams the dunk in the other side. They really got it all. They pieced it, they really had it. Maxi with another bucket. That will be 11 points for Maxi as they are trying to keep it alive. 450 gone by for the third quarter. Three pointer for Johnson. And a great rebound by Danny Green. Another miss here for Johnson. He never got a piece of it, but he has to see what he can do. Green, drive, makes another rebound for Booker. A lot of impetition, nobody's here to help. Johnson fixes the three-pointer, and they are extending the lead. Johnson really got into this one. When there is no help on offense, they really wanted to do it. They are the killers. They are the best teams here in the Western Conference, and now they're pushing back into the playoff position to bring it back here alive. Same thing as the Sixers does. The number third three seed. Steps up. Green, off and that way. What a great help here on defense, but that's a lot of hard that he picks up. And a reach foul on calls on James Harden as he will have to stop as the new changes are being called. Niang and Kuzmaz were checked in. And another change up here with another block. Let's have a look one more time. I think that was a very close one. This was... Uh, yep, it was fly ball. That turned out to be a huge successful mobile one block for this game. So that's one block for Matisse fly ball. Booker on the Arden, and no good on that one as MB grabs two rebounds. Arden stepping in the paint, back out by Harris. Yang to Korkmaz. Yang back to Korkmaz, I meant. Korkmaz drives, and his first bucket doesn't hit in this one. That's another rebound by the Suns. Oh, almost ball knocked loose, but it's close. McGee! Are you kidding? That's another one with the blocking of the defenseman, but it didn't help him. Krogmas answers it back. It's a no-no. I don't think there is no choice for him that he wants to go for a drive. Uh, that's, that's a little strange on that one here. I, I was expecting that happen. Are you kidding me? Damn! Wow, Embiid's on a roll today for this season. I know he is. How can you be a best defenseman if you can block those shots? Embiid, five blocks in a row. He's on a streak. Best defensive player ever. I would have definitely agree on that one here, but I, I don't know if we can get a good call from, uh, from the best offense or best defensive player of the year. We're not sure how well he's going to keep it up, but he's in between the range, in between Rudy Gobert, the blocker, the best player of, the year, player of the year last season, or for this season. As another bucket turns out to be another one for Phoenix, here's Harden. Millsap, back to Harden. Harden, back to Millsap. Right to Harris. They're trying to pick up the pressure as they are trying to answer it back. Millsap turns a crazy move inward out. That's another amazing bucket for the Sixers as Millsap gets a first one here. First bucket, no problem. But second one, they really got to go for it. Mayambo, right to Holiday. Just about two minutes to go here for the third quarter. Hayden, he has to get one. Can he get the make the shot? No, he doesn't hit that time. Kirk Moss. Millsap, and no block here for McGee, and he didn't get the second one in time. 
That's a lot of uh, a lot of hard transition out there. When you get the better block, you gotta make it in time. But for McGee, he's a little bit tad late as Millsap had it carried away. A nice D! How are you unsuccessful for the Suns? They couldn't answer it back. That was very rude and definitely not that well enough if you can try to answer it. And this is very hard for the Suns. If there's a defenseman on here, they would have to take it away in order to give it back. Now we brought it back as Peyton grabs a nice uh, layup with a scoop. And McGee with the assist. With under a minute to go, 43 to 30 is your score. Harden. Korkma, it's to Har Harris. Back to Harden. Harris for three. Comes inside. They are pulling it on the roll, and they're down by 10. Only 40 seconds to go here for the third quarter. Korkma is right on holiday. Screen carried out. And that's a great help here on offense as McGee makes a screen and Holiday with a great drive. Went in and went out in the paint. Really well done. Quick pause for three. Hits it off again, and that's another miss by Philadelphia. Sixers are really having a hard time. They gotta like try to fix things up here again. They can't be locked, knocked loose. Just 10 seconds left. Holiday. Looking for his run. Can he make it? No, he doesn't. And Harden. Will he have the buzz beater? Yes, he does. Wow, what a play for Harden. I'm telling you, the beard man, he's really stepping into his show. Welcome Harden to the Sixers. And we are done for the third quarter. Your last quarter is coming up after the break. 45-35, don't go anywhere. We got more coverage after this. And let's have a quick look here at the State Pharmacist of the game. And in between the transition out there, the Suns, we talked about it before. There's a lot of great happening moments here for Devin Booker passing off to Aiton. And that was the best assist of this game, turning out to be just one and ever. Glad you have you join us with here today. We have already had played three quarters of this game. And now we're on the last one to bring it on. Harden, oh my! What a start for the fourth quarter and a great drive in between the tricks and moves. Harden, he really wants to go for this drive. He wants to show the world that Harden is here with the Sixers. And they're all missing out here in Brooklyn. I think they're all looking out for him. As the foul has turned out to be MB, this will be his first personal, a number one team foul on Philadelphia. Tory Craig hasn't got and didn't get the free throw line since the finals and the playoff spot of this game. It's very hard for him to try to come by, but what will Craig do if he can make that shot? He has two. Let's see if he can make it. Three team fouls on the Suns, and two team fouls on the Sixers. Craig makes the first one down, and now Booker is checked back in for Holiday. Aaron Holiday will be checking out. Last time he was playing with the Indiana Pacers, but didn't really want to take it off. Craig hits both down. That's two on two. Two out of two for Tory Craig. Welcome back, Tory Craig. We haven't seen your place this move, but we like to see how well you do. MB, right to Maxi. Right to Harden. And no problem. Harden with another bucket. And Maxi will take the assist in his run. What a great pass here for Maxi. I like to see his first assist come by. And there is another transition out there. That might be a changeup. Shamit on green. Bridges. Three pointer is off out of range. Harden turning it off. Maxi. MB. And count it. And Embiid's got another one. That's nine points. Another assist by Maxi. That's two in a row. 
And they're down by six. Booker on Harding. Trying to move out of the way so he gets plenty of room. Oh my goodness! Wow! Shemek makes a three! And with, a, and with a last play, MB's now has six blocks in a row. Well, who has the most record? Well, I'm not sure. This is very tough on that one. MB, sure. It is getting a little bit warmed up again. We had a little, had a little mental issue. In. No blocks. Oh, Maxi! With the first block of the Sixers. Tries again. Embiid. No problem. Embiid's got 11. They're down by 7. Embiid's got a great communication out there. What a great pass by Danny Green. And with all on his run, that turned out to be just like he did before. Next time out, called by Phoenix Suns. They will have to talk things over with 3.49 remaining. And DeAndre Aiden will have to sit out. Because of his medical response, it will be his worst game in his history. It's very hard for him, but he, but he has a lot of uh, a lot of uh, broken in of this issue. A little, little breakdown with the meltdown of the defense, but it really turned out to be just hard. I think I think Joel Embiid was trying to push him. I think he was elbowing him from his side. That could have been an offensive foul. But there was no call on that one here. He was trying to move it along things over, but he didn't really have enough room to try to fix things up a bit. What he really needs to do is he has to like not go out right after him. And if uh, DeAndre Ayton gets uh, gets broken up already and not get hurt, he will be fine to play on the court. But it will be very tough for him if he will have to stay on the court to keep it long as possible. Now the new changes are coming in for the Suns and for the Sixers. Crowder is checked back in, and he will bring Means back here, as Aiden will still has more time. Not too much here for, for this guy, but he will have to keep an eye on him. We'll see how well his run can go for. We'll, we'll keep an eye on him just in case he is running a little bit off out of his out of reach. McCall. Bridges short on a carry and it hits the rim. MB right over on that side. Finds Maxi. Maxi to Harden. Harden right to Niang. Joel B will have him out. Niang inside. Count it. That's another two-pointer here for the Sixers. They're down by five. Yang really has this one. He really wants to help him out. So you gotta watch him out for the block, key paint. Harden rejects the screen, doesn't want to get away with it. Oh, the alley oop is unsuccessful, it goes off the rim. Wow, felt very disappointed after this run. I thought that was going to go in. But the but the problem for DeAndre Aiden, he was on the med medical issue, issues, so had a little aiding problem. His dunk was off. Wow, I was very upset of him. Harden with the three. Didn't hit off the run and it really went out of bounds. And a foul goes on MB, his second personal foul. 13 foul on Philadelphia. Just 2.19 to go for the fourth quarter. And McCall Bridges will go to the free throw line to shoot two. McCall Bridges, he was really definitely getting there better. A little like a hard impact. I'm seeing things a lot better, but this wasn't very uh, comfortable for him to try to keep him on him. That's gonna be good for uh, Mil for McCall Bridges to break him up. Yang will sit out and Harris will check back in, back to the starting five original, and with the Suns too. Two free throws, 
and they are keeping it alive. 2.15 to go as uh, Harding was trying to pick this up. Harding, Maxi, Maxi, three pointer, no good. Bridges with a little rebound as Crowder picks it back in and around the Everly. Two minutes to play for the second half of the period. Hooker, here he comes, and he dunks it across. Another drive on that run, and they are on their way. Oh, they're like Revengers. They always definitely know back in game number six they did, and they are trying to pick up their run. And B, right on DeAndre Ayton. Finds Harden. Harden steps in, throws it across, answers back, and Harden is trying to say, this game is not over yet. Wow. I was expecting that this was going to ever happen. With a minute and a half to go, they are trying to fight their way back. And Crowder, open field on the, uh, on the wing. Looking over, back to Johnson. And Harden gets a steal. Green coming with the inbound. Harris for three. And he makes it across. It's a three-pointer. You're down by four. They're really trying to step it up a little bit more. They really got to try to find it. And a great pass here by Booker. That's another bucket for Ian. Deep. Oh, almost went off the bound. And B. Try to slick fix things up a bit. Harden. Back to Maxi. Maxi to Harden. And B. Oh, and B. Shovels inside, he goes back to back. And now this goes back by four. And Bede really had to show him off, but they really didn't want to take it from here. And now they're gonna to have to call the personal foul on Philadelphia. Next foul will be two on one. Inside, not again. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of hard defensive rebound. And B for three. And didn't hit off the run, and they will have to give up a foul for the last time before the regulation period comes to a closure. And Jay Crowder will be at the free throw line for two shots. They have it all there, folks. They definitely have it all. And without no questions, Suns answer back. Crowder makes the first free throw, makes it again, and the game will be over. And that's it. The Suns have dang their possession just the last possession for the Sixers. And Maxi will have to go back from here. Green for two. Knocked off the bound, and that will be the last time for the Sixers to pick out any doubtful information to pick up their own rebound. Both head coaches are trying to uh, give him a uh, give him a show him how it's done. I try to go around the other lane, and now they are losing their momentum. Cameron Johnson will have to uh, shoot two free throws again. They makes first, and now both players and teams will make some the last changes of their substitutions. Bassey and Carly Stein are checked in there, haven't seen them playing. Pay in, Wainwright, and Johnson are checked in. Johnson didn't able to hit the throw. Holiday will have to end it off from here, but Korkmaz has to like not keep this thing going. Well, he really didn't want to just take it from here. He just really wanted to like just just try to end his run, but he didn't really work him out. Yeah, and that will be the winning game for the Suns. They are on the roll here. 
as Johnson will uh, check him out. By Ambos checked back in. 3.3 seconds. One last shot to go. And he makes two free throws. Without the New Balance player of the game, they will have to call timeout here because that will have to close things off. Man, the Suns are going wild right now. They're doing really well on the hard run, but that's all they have to bring things here. What a game, folks. And that was the Suns Valley. Without the winning of the finals, it was their win for their regular season. Keeping it back in there. It was just very hard how it gets things done. But for regular season, you don't want to miss out. The Suns and the Bucks. Here for the uh, last season of the NBA Finals. And they uh, will be returning for their meetup again. On this game, better than ever. Here are the summaries for those two teams. Here we have the better run of the uh, offensive transition on the in-between. Nine blocks for the Sixers and two for the Suns. Only two turnovers, but nothing for the Philadelphia Sixers. And that's a lot of rebounds here for the Suns and a lot, some of them for the Sixers. Your player of the game of New Balance goes to James Harden, the Beard Man. Beard Man, he really got a buzz beater down. And also, he's got a good transition between in and out. But it won't be enough for him to make the top three stars of the game. That will be his end of the night to go right inward and outwards. But their team is not giving up since they wanted to go to the playoffs. And Fievel will be done for now. Your final score, 61 to 52. Sixers come up with a huge disappointment out there after winning game seven, but now the regular season, turn it back up to the Suns. What a fantastic game out there. A lot of players, they're giving out their good timing effort. I think the fans are gonna love it too. And now, without every court, we now take you from here to DA, as they're taking the interview right from here. Turns out to be just too hard for him. To try to keep things up here, but it's a little too late. We don't have time. Let's get right into the three stars player of the game. That'll be a good idea. Here's number three that I'm going to give it up to, and without any of our doubtful mind, let's bring it up to number three player. We saw that earlier before, but for the Sixers, I'm giving it up to Joel Embiid. Six blocks in a row, 17 minutes on the court, and it's only 13 points this game. I can't believe how many blocks he had turned out. Inward and outward, first and second half, it really turned out to be much better. Well played for Joel Embiid, as it all turns out for him, the process can count it better. A lot of patience out there. Everybody loves him. He's a legendary star. Number two player. This one goes out to the better one player. I didn't see his performance out there. Aaron Holiday made 10 points, but after uh, playing with the Pacers, he decided to regret to go to the Suns. That's all on him, but we have nothing else to say. And for number one, that goes to a better player that turned out to be the pinched right elbow on the, on the nerve system on his injury. But he's still okay, though. That would be DeAndre Aiton for the best performance of his run. He only had one block. That was it. And there was no other blocks here to put a revenge on Joel Embiid or any other players that give him up. But that's all there is. Five performance of the dunk and 16 points for his personal best score. And we'd like to thank you all for watching for this rematching game of the Suns and Sixers. Join us for the next game as we will see the Cavs at home playing against the Portland Trailblazers. It will be another huge makeable match in between the uh, lineup and there will be a lot more to get them around on the other end. With all the crew, me phone, and Son of Beast or God, this has been a presentation of the NBA 2K22. You can check out the last game of the Thunders and the Hawks 
Even if you don't like this season, you can check out other seasons that we made. And that's definitely on his channel of Son of Beasts. With that being said, peace out everyone. For as a while as the NBA 2K22 dial. See you all next time. And have a good night in the Valley of Phoenix along with Brotherly Love Philadelphia.